Hey guys, it's Bunny from WeAreWordNerds.com. It's the end of the year, and this is a book call video. <laughs> Alright you guys, so it's quite literally the very end of the year. I needed to do a kind of catch-up book haul. I hadn't done a book haul in a couple of months. I have some birthday gifts to show you and just some random gifts that people on Facebook gave me. I have some purchases and of course I have the books to show you that were sent to me to feature over on wearewordnerds.com. The video is going to be kind of long because it's quite a few books. I am going to divide it into those sections. It's going to be feature books, purchases, and gifts. Um, I'll try to annotate it so you can click and see whatever part you want. Please make sure you swing by wearewordnerds.com, find the blog post that goes along with this video for links and more information about all of the books I'm fixing to show you. Are you ready? The first books I'm going to show you are the books I was sent to feature on wearewordnerds.com. It's a whole bunch. I've not posted in a couple months and I'm so sorry. Um, let's get started. Are you ready? Dear Life, You Stuck by Scott Blagden. This was sent to me from HMH. The Accident by Chris Pavone. This was sent from Broadway Books. HMH sent me a paperback copy of Hero by Althea Contes. This is the paperback, paperback version. I also have the hardback. The reason they sent this is because they also sent me a copy of Dearest, which just came out in hardback. Hellhole by Gina Damico. This was also sent to me from HMH. I can't wait to read it. I put it right on top of my I'm going to read it next pile, which is ungodly huge, but at least I put it on the top. Kensington Press sent me a copy of Zombie Find. This is the second book in the Zomberbia series, I think is the name of it. HMH sent me a copy of The Testing. Quark Books finally came through for me and sent me a copy of Hollow City. For some reason, they had down that they had sent it to me back when it first came out, and I never got my copy, and then it came out in paperback, and they were like, do you want a paperback? And I was like, yes, and then it never came, so they finally sent me a copy of Hollow City. I can't wait to read it. There's a review for Miss Peregrine already up on my website. I'll also put a link for it down below. I hope you go by and check it out. If you haven't read the series yet, I think it's just great. You've got to pick it up. It's scary, but not real scary. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's, I don't know. It's not really scary. I thought it was emotional. Well, just, you have to go read the review. Just go read the review. HMH sent another copy of Creature of Moonlight. I've actually started reading this um, about maybe a third of the way through. I set it down to pick up something else. Um, sometimes you start reading a book and you just can't get into it and I don't really know if it's the book or just you know the things going around going on in life around you are kind of keeping you from getting into it at that time. You know, sometimes you feel like a romance or you feel like something scary or you feel like action. So I just set it down. I'm going to try to pick it up again later. It's not bad. I just, I really wasn't feeling it. So we'll see. We'll come back to it sometime in 2015 and see what happens. I don't get a whole lot of indie books over for wearewordnerds.com, um, but I do get, there are a couple of authors that continue to send me the work, and I am very appreciative for it. Uh, Michael Philip Cash has sent me a copy of The After House. I think this is um, kind of a thriller horror. I have not had a chance to read it. My stack is just entirely too tall, but I think I have all of his books now, so make sure you look him up on Goodreads and Amazon. Quark Books put out a best holiday gift ideas list and I reposted it on wearewordnerds.com. They were kind enough to send me the books that were listed on that list that I didn't already have in my home library. So that was really exciting. And uh, a couple of those books were cookbooks. They sent Madeline's, which is basically, um, you know, cookie recipes. Hot dogs, which is <laughs> different ways you can prepare a hot dog. Who knew there were so many different ways? Because I didn't. I just thought you grilled them or ate them with chili or cheese or sauerkraut. I like sauerkraut on my dogs. But anyway, it's basically a different cookbook for hot dogs. They also sent sprinkles, recipes, and ideas for rainbowlicious desserts. And I am all for cookie and cake recipes. So this is kind of interesting. It has lots of pictures, lots of different recipes. Yummy, yummy to the tummy. And I think the last book that was in that batch was Winter Cocktails. Uh, yeah, it's adult drinks for the winter because I'm an adult. I may drink. I don't, not really, I don't. Don't drink, it's bad for you. Quirk sent a second copy of Jane Austen cover to cover. I absolutely love this book. 
Um, I got it at the beginning of the semester, which was kind of good timing because I was taking women's lit this past semester. Uh, we read a couple, you know, Jane Austen books and stuff like that. We talked about the women's movement and all of that good stuff. But the teacher that I had was actually Jane Austen's favorite, you know, favorite books of hers. So she convinced me to read them for the semester, even though they weren't assigned. And it was interesting. I learned a lot this semester in that class, but they sent it and I showed it to her and she absolutely loved it. Well, for some reason they sent me a second one and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm down for that. So once my grade was posted, cause I didn't want gifts being the reason I got my grades. Um, when she gave me an A, she gave me an A. So I mailed her a copy for Christmas. So it wasn't by bribery. I got my A first. It was totally legit. Cork also sent another copy of The Resurrectionist. This just came out on paperback. They were really trying to push the paperback. So they were resending out um, the hardbacks, I guess. And um, it ended up getting a double feature on the blog. This book is very interesting. I have not read it to cover to cover, but I have flipped through it and checked out all the illustrations. I'm not sure really. Um, I think it's, this is gonna sound crazy. I think it's fiction, but it's written as factual which makes me wonder if it's factual. So, I don't know, because like I said, I didn't read it cover to cover. I just looked at the pretty pictures and read some of the mythology. So, I don't know. I will sit down one day and read it cover to cover. If you've read it or you know about it, comment down below and let me know, because I'm really not sure. The next few books I'm going to show you were all sent to me for a feature on the website, but they are all like kid lit. We get a lot of kid lit. Um, and I'm very appreciative because we have a lot of younger readers in our family. HMH sent Anastasia again and Anastasia Kirkpatrick by Lois Lowry. Yes, that's who wrote The Giver. You are correct. They sent a paperback copy of How to Catch a Boggle and I didn't know why, but a couple of weeks later I found out because they followed it up with The Plague of the Boggles, which is in hardback. This little series is getting amazing reviews on Goodreads and on Amazon, which is kind of hard for a book to do nowadays. So if you're in the mood for some middle grade, maybe upper middle grade, I say look it up. It looks pretty interesting and it is on the highest, it's up on the top-ish part of my gotta read it. I'm going to read it. I swear I am. I just, there are not enough hours in the day. I'm a full-time student, a full-time mom, and I have four dogs now. Yes. HMH sent another copy of The Ghost in the Glass House. They were promoting this because it just released in paperback. I think I like the paperback cover a whole lot better than I like the hardback cover. I'll put a picture of the hardback right here. What do you think? Let's do a comparison. Comment down below. Do you like the paperback cover or the hardback cover? But, uh, HMH also sent a copy of Lenny Cyrus' School of Virus. I thought for sure my daughter would pick this up, but I guess it's too boyish. She wasn't really interested in it, but I have a couple of little nephews. I think we'll find it interesting once they get a little further along in their reading skills. So I am definitely keeping it, say, hip level on the bookcase. We'll see who picks it up and what happens. HMH also sent a copy of Tales for Very Picky Eaters by Josh Schneider. This book is very cute, and even though it is a children's children's book, I'm going to make my daughter read it because the child lives off of ramen and bologna and dinosaur chicken nuggets because she won't eat regular chicken nuggets, and it's ridiculous. Quirk also sent me a copy of Kid Presidents, The Tales of Childhood from America's Presidents. I thought, because, you know, there's a YouTube channel here with a kid, and they call him Kid President, and his videos are amazing, and he just had a book come out. I thought that's what it was, and I ripped it open. Don't get confused. It's not It's not written by that little kid, but he has a book out too, and I want it. It's on my wish list, because he's a smart kid. Cute too. Cute. Dimples. <laughs> I was sent a copy of so Super Cyborg in the Gadget Glove. I think I already have a copy of this. I'm not sure. If I do, if this is a duplicate, I'll be doing a giveaway for it. HMH also sent me a copy of Pug in the Truck. It's a board book, but it's funny, and if you go look at the feature post I did over on We Are Word Nerds, I put a picture of my pug in a truck. I don't know why they illustrated the cover. They totally should have called me and I would have given them a picture of Gumbly. It's no big deal. It's for the children. I was sent a copy of Mrs. Patch's Learn to Sew. This is cute. My daughter keeps taking it in her room and I have to keep sewing it back. It just kind of goes through the basics of sewing. You know, how to cut a pattern, how to thread a needle. And then I was sent a copy of Captain No Beard and the Aurora Borealis. If you haven't seen these books mentioned on my channel before, 
Um, they come from a company called Red Bed of Productions. I actually think they're indie published. The series is about Captain No Beard, and the first few ones I get, he was going to different countries, and it was I thought it was really interesting. Um, it's an interesting way to introduce small ones to, you know, different nationalities and stuff like that. I just thought it was a cute series. So now we're visiting the Aurora Borealis. Quirk sent me a copy of The Geek's Guide to Dating by Eric Smith. HMH sent me a copy of Vivian Apple at the End of the World. HMH also sent me a copy of Unmade. This is the sequel in to Entangled. I absolutely love the cover. I think it is beautiful. And I went and pulled out Entangled 2 so you could see um, just how pretty the covers are. They are high fantasy, I think. I just think they're beautiful. Um, I'm probably going to pick up Entangled in hardcover since I've got unmade in hardcover and I don't want to mix mix matched um, sets but I don't know who's doing the cover work for these but they're great and then in October and no no in November and December I was asked to participate in some book release tours I was happy to say yes the first one I did was called the black stars by Dan Krokos this was sent to me by Starscape we had scheduled an interview um, for the blog but he never got back to me with the answers to the interview questions so that kind of fell through but we did end up doing the feature for the book this is upper middle grade lower ya it is high fantasy tour sent me a copy of the ice dragon by george R. R. martin for one it was tour and i kind of freaked out a little bit because tour never sends me anything i request stuff and they don't even reply so when they offered me this i was like yes please anything you want to send me send me because i love tour so they sent me george R. R. martin the author of the game of thrones series came out with this illustrated middle grade it is beautiful the artwork just look at the end pages by themselves i mean it's a beautiful book Let's see if i can find some of the um illustrations I hope you can see that. I'm not filming on my laptop, so I really don't know what you can see and what you can't. But if you haven't picked this up yet, go pick it up. It's called The Ice Dragon. The other promo that I did that I was really excited for was for Zodiac by Ramana Russell. This is the first book I want to say in a trilogy. We did a feature post for the book, and then we did, uh, Ramana did a guest post over on wearewordnerds.com and talked a lot about how she got her book published and stuff like that if you're interested in that kind of stuff i'll put the link down below make sure you swing by the website and check it out if you haven't seen this gorgeous cover is that not beautiful holy crumb cakes you guys so um this book there's 12 or 13 i think it says the 13th um symbol you've either got superpowers or your powers based on your symbol so that sounds really interesting i can't wait to read it this is on the very tip top it's like the next book i pick up is probably going to be zodiac okay so that's it for books that were sent to me to feature on the website i think now i'm going to show you some gifts so the first gift i want to show you is a little gift i picked up for myself this is pippa Somebody was giving her away on Facebook, and she is part pug and part wiener dog. They kind of posted they wanted her gone that day, and if somebody didn't come and take her, she was going to the pound. So, I went and picked her up. The people, um, goodness, you wake up. The people said she was eight weeks and weaned, and there was nothing wrong. And, um, I went and picked her up. And when I saw how small she was, I kind of knew that that wasn't the truth. So I swung by my vet's office and <coughs> they estimated when I got her, she was between four and six weeks old. She was not weaned, so we had to deal with that. It was kind of a, a scary couple of days, but we soy fed her and got her some puppy food. So she's eating fairly well now. She just had her second set of shots and uh, she's doubled in weight. She was three Point two pounds or something when we got her she's 5.9 now so big thumbs up for a healthy Pippa and like you care about my dog let's get back to the books ready so the books I'm going to show you right now are gifts some of them well I'll just show them to you my friend Casey Hilton sends me books for Christmas and my birthday every year she did not film me this year so for Christmas one of the books she sent was The Truth by Nick Cutter I'm almost done reading it like 
I am so close to the end. I put it down the other day because I was crying. I don't know. Everybody says it's scary. I, I don't think it's scary. It did remind me a whole lot of Dreamcatcher by Stephen King. If you've uh, read that or watched the movie, you kind of get a gist of what the book's about. Only in the book, it's kids and they're on like a scout camp out or whatever. Um, it's very good. I was a little disappointed that it, it reminded me so much of Dreamcatcher because I felt like I knew what was coming before it happened or whatever. But other than that, like that's my only complaint. It's written very well. The author has a good voice. It is thrillery and stuff. So I don't know. The ending is making me mad. I, I won't say why, but I was crying the other night and I put it up. And I don't know if I'm going to finish it because I don't like it. I don't like it when they, I can't say because it's a spoiler, but, hmm. Casey also sent me, um, two of the books from the, the spinoff, the City of, you know, the Mortal Instruments spinoff, whatever it's called. I had the first one in the Angel one, and I didn't have the other ones. So, she sent me these. She also went through my wish list and picked me a couple of books that were like part of a series that I had part of it and not the other part so I couldn't read the series because I don't like to read a series if I can't read it all. So she sent me Such Wicked Intent by Kenneth Opal. This is the second book. The first one's called This Dark Endeavor, I think. And she also sent Beautiful Redemption, which is the fourth or fifth book in the Beautiful Creatures series, which I'm caught up. I mean, I'm all the way to this book in that series, so I'll probably read this pretty soon. And then the last book that she sent made me squeal because I forgot to pre-order it and I was mad at myself. And I, would have I refused to pay $30 for a book when I know for a fact I could have got for $14 if I just ordered it two days before I realized I forgot to pre-order it. So it was on the top of my wish list. And it also keeps my Stephen King collection up to date. She sent me Revival from Stephen King. That means there's, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm literally almost done. There are, I think, two books still that I don't have from Stephen King's, but I can't find good quality. Uh, I need road work and uh, brain farting. I can't think of what the other one is I need, but. So, thank you so much, Casey. I love you. I love your gift giving, especially. <laughs> You're an amazing friend. I can't wait for us to get together and go out and eat again. And you need to call me because you haven't called me in like two weeks now. And Merry Christmas late. And Happy New Year. So this stack of books was books that somebody was giving away on Facebook. And they messaged me and asked me if I wanted them. And I was like, yes, I will come and get them. I don't even care what it is. So they gave me Charmed, Something Wiccan This Way Comes, Witchy Stories by Abby Adams, Mad Mash by Patricia Gaffney, Bud Not Buddy, Fools Russian, Wolves of the Beyond, Toothy Anna, The Cricket in Times Square, The Princess Academy, Palace of Stone, and then another book blogger who goes by Cubicle Blindness uh, messaged me on Twitter, said, you know, she had a book. She thought she remembered me saying I wanted to read it. Asked me if I wanted it. I was like, yes. It's called Shattered Silence. It's the unt untold story of a serial killer's daughter. It's nonfiction. It has very good reviews on Goodreads. It's been on my wish list for probably three or four years. So, thank you, Krista. Can't wait to read it. Okay, that's it for the gifts. Now, um, the last section of this video. Jeez, this thing is going to be long. It's going to be purchases. I almost never buy anything new. I buy bargain books. I get them at the Salvation Army, at flea markets, at library sales. I don't like to pay full price for anything. Not food, not clothes, definitely not books. So these were all, I'd say for a dollar or less or say $5 for the bag. Um, lots of times if you buy stuff off of Facebook or whatever, like I have a bag and you can have it for $5. So this first batch of purchases was in a bag. She said, you know, I've got a bag of books. You want it? It's 10 bucks. You can have them all. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll come get it. In it was a book called Bad Girls, A Midnight Clear, Song of the Wanderer, Princess Academy by Shannon Hale, The Gadget, When Jeff Comes Home. And then there was part of a series in there, A Wizard Alone, The Wizard's Dilemma, A Wizard Abroad, High Wizardry, Deep Down Popular, 
And then the books that excited my daughter out of that bag, the Vladimir Todd, there's um, three books out of the Vladimir Todd series. This one is um, 12th grade kills, it doesn't have a jacket. 8th grade bites, 9th grade slays. And then some books that made me squeal. Part of the Fable Haven series. This series has been on my wish list forever. I cannot pick it up in good quality. I've bought, I've bought a couple of the books two or three times and they're always just falling apart when they get here. Um, so I was really surprised when I opened that, you know, bag of bulk books and here was three of the books in there. Granted, one of them doesn't have a jacket, but it's in flawless condition. This is The Secrets of the Dragon Sanctuary, Fable Haven, The Grip of the Shadow Plague, and The Rise of the Evening Star. And then there was another partial series in there, which was kind of funny because I keep picking the, the first book of the series up thinking I have the other books and I need the first one. Only I had the first one and what I needed was the rest of them. I've probably had 10 copies of the first book of the series, both in paperback and hardback. I'm looking at two perfect hardback condition, I mean perfect condition hardbacks right now that I need to give away. I just donated two to the Salvation Army and two to the library. I keep buying the first book. So it is so good that these were in that bag. You know what's bad? I kept the hardcover of the first book and it was paperbacks in the bag. The first book in this series is called Firestar, Dark Fire, The Fire Eternal, and Ice Fire. Okay guys, we're almost done. I swear these are the last books. There's um, six in my hands. These were like 10 cents at the Salvation Army. I just picked them up on a whim. That is The House of Cain by Ken Ulo. It's a vampire book. Forever Todd by Dean Kuntz. And then I grabbed some books I thought I was sure my son would be interested in. They're in the Dragon Lance series. That's Dragons and Spring Dawning, Dragons Winter Night, Dragons Autumn Twilight, and Dragons Last Star. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's it for this book haul. I hope you saw something in this video that you thought was interesting. If you've read any of these books, please let me know down in the comments. Let me know what I should bump up to the top of my TBR list. My TBR is so huge. I just, I have, it's to the point where I have a hard time picking a new book because there are so many that are unread. Do you ever have that problem? Like you just look at your shelf and then you're like, I need to read all of the books and it makes me not be able to pick a book so if you've read any of these comment down below and let me know what you thought about it is it worth my time should I read it should I put it down on the bottom of the pile and not really worry about it um, if any of these series are good let me know too so I'll know you know which ones I should go ahead and get started on because some series really are quite long thank you guys for watching I'm working on a new kind of schedule and format for 2015. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I'm looking for some big changes in 2015. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I have a lot of subscribers on the Benny Cates channel, but not so many over here, and I'm trying to move all of the book stuff to We Are Word Nerds. Um, so subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Twitter. You can either follow Bunny Cates or We Are Word Nerds. I'm on Instagram. I'm Bunny Cated on there. I have a page on Facebook. It's We Are Word Nerds. And of course, we have the We Are Word Nerds website. I would love to see you stop by over there and comment on some of the posts. Um, let me know what you've been up to lately and all of that stuff. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. Um, you know, it's the end of the year. It's time to, you know, set new resolutions for 2015 and, and you know, onward and upward and all of that. I am working on trying to hammer out some kind of a schedule for 2015, a new format for the videos. I'm fixing to have a whole different background for the videos. So, um, the, first, the first bit of 2015, we'll probably go through a couple of changes, and then we'll get it set in that routine. I'm actually, you know, classes are fixing to start back up. I'm going to be taking five classes this semester instead of four. Hopefully, it's not going to overload me. I would really like to be able to put a little bit of focus back on my book stuff because it's kind of fell to the wayside with me focusing on school. But I haven't forgotten you guys. I'm still here. I still watch your videos. Lots of times, I just thumb them up because I don't really have time to comment. Or if I'm watching on my phone, I can't comment. So, But yeah, sorry for rambling. That's another five minutes on the end of an already too long video. I miss you guys so much. Follow me on Twitter. Friend me on Facebook, comment down below, say hi. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. See ya.